Hey guys, Hicks here. I've had a few people ask me to remake my Overwatch sensitivity video for Marvel Rivals. So I've decided to go ahead and do that to show you how to find your perfect sensitivity in Marvel Rivals. I've put some comments on the screen now of people that um, had improvements after trying the same thing for Overwatch and it pretty much worked exactly the same. Uh, so I'll go ahead and walk you through that today. Um, this should improve your aim in general and help you find a sensitivity that's perfect for you. So in order to begin, uh, we'll head down to the uh, secret training range below. Um, and this will be a location where we can set targets for each different character and select how they move. And this will give us a, a lot better of an idea of how the aim works. So step one is we, we need to find our sensitivity that will give us a 360 from swiping to from left to right across your whole mouse pad. So um, it's, you pretty much can find a spot on the wall and make a mark and then find the sensitivity that's going to give you a 360 to bring you back to that mark. I found with a, a pretty large mouse pad, it's around um, one in game for 1600 DPI or two in game for around 800. Uh, you might need to try a little faster if you've got um, a quite a small mouse pad. I'd recommend you maybe pause the video here and, and find that now before proceeding with the next step. So now what we'll do is we'll set up the training range to um, have an appropriate target. For now we'll do Lunar Snow and we're going to um, change the movement to dynamic and then we're going to set the duration from 60 seconds to 120. You can also play with different things in here as well for your own preference. You can play with things like movement speed, um, the type of character you're shooting such as like a, a flying character or a ground character um, as well as the the distance at which they spawn so have a play around and see what you prefer and then we'll have to open up the JS calc tool and this will do the math behind the PSA method in order to find our best sense so you'll find a link for that in the description maybe pause again and just bring that up and then once we've got that open we need to enter the sensitivity we worked out earlier for our 360 so in my case it was one and that will spit out on the right hand side over here it'll give us a lower and a higher sense over here so the way this works is we're going to try both of these out in game so starting with the low sense we're going to bring that up here and change our um, mouse horizontal and mouse vertical sensitivity to the lower number and we're going to go ahead and try that now in the practice range on the targets we set up so the goal here isn't to have perfect aim, it's just to try the two numbers and see which one feels better for you personally. Um, obviously starting off it's going to be quite wide and will be pretty hard to aim, but noticing on the lower sense here straight away my mouse was feeling really heavy and really slow and it was quite hard to aim. So that was kind of the drawback of trying this one. I was still able to hit targets, but I feel like if I was to try and snap to someone close or behind me, I wouldn't have any chance to hit them. Um, so now we'll go ahead and try the higher sensitivity, which is 1.5. Now this feels a lot lighter and definitely too fast. Um, so with this one, pretty much I'd, I'd just be flicking my mouse around missing everything. Um, so at least with the lower sense I was feeling um, I could still aim pretty well I just uh, had to move my mouse a lot in order to do so so in my opinion the lower one felt better for me and this is just all about you personally um, so what we do now is go back to the tool and I'll choose lower because I preferred the lower sense yep and then that will spit out two more values another lower and another higher um, and so pretty much it, you just re repeat the, the steps we just went through. You're going to try the lower and the higher and then select um, which one you prefer. And you're going to do that for seven iterations. And then once you get to the seventh one, it'll um, bring the numbers close enough together that it can calculate your perfect sensitivity. And that will be provided on screen here. So once you've got that, you can go ahead and practice with that and take it into quick play. Um, it might not be amazing at first, but over time, if you give it some time, it'll definitely, you start to get used to it and it'll feel great. Um, I've used this pretty much every time I've gotten a new mouse or changed my mouse pad or, or anything where I felt like I couldn't aim again. 
and it's definitely worked for me each time. He's one. So highly recommend trying, and if it does work for you, let me know in the we'll comments so I, I know that I've been helpful in, in making this video. And if you want to see more Marvel or Overwatch content, hit the subscribe.